Hey, how's it going? Sorry for the lack of proper lighting in my room. Um, I found this section pretty interesting, the, the reading that we had this week, as well as this assignment to look up child-directed speech, get a definition, some examples of it, um, and learn more about it. I didn't really know like the formal term of child-directed speech. I more commonly refer to it as baby talk. But I have some notes here that I'm excited to share um, to talk more about some of the things I learned and found while doing some research online and also reading through um, the material in the textbook. So child-directed speech, the definition of that is the way that someone would alter the way they speak or talk when addressing an infant or a toddler. So it's more commonly referred to as least, at least in my opinion, more commonly referred to as baby talk. Um, and this is when you might have higher pitches, you might have a slower, uh, well, you might speak slower, you might talk a little bit more simply too. Um, and you'd probably drag out some of the tones that you'll, you'll say when talking to a person. And I was really curious about like examples I kind of already knew, but I was really curious about um, the outcomes of this, like if this is a good thing or if this in any way could be harmful for the learning and development of, a, of an infant um, or a toddler. And all I could find were positive things online. Um, I saw some like statistics about how toddlers or infants who receive baby talk, they can learn things faster um, or even have more skill doing, you know, speed reading or comprehensive reading as they grow older and participate in, you know, elementary school activities. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, I hopefully, hopefully those sources that I looked up are valuable and credible. Um, but I thought that was pretty interesting that there were only good things about um, baby talk or child directive speech rather than anything negative. Um, so... I'm sure there probably are some negative things, but I didn't find any. Maybe I wasn't looking hard enough. Um, but yeah, so it's the way a person's linguistic characteristics alter when speaking to an infant. Baby talk is what it's almost always referred to. Um, you might change your pitch. You might talk a little slower. You might talk more simply. So as an example, I have a nephew who is two years old. His name is Calvin. Um and when we're over at there at my sister's house and her her husband's home, I'm almost always addressing him like Calvin, how are you? You know, like I I don't I probably say it in a more like baby way, but maybe I'm just embarrassed or shy to do it on a video. But you know, you'll just change your tone, you'll change your pitch to um, hopefully allow them to understand you better. You know, we do the same thing with dogs too. If we're holding up a dog, you know, like a puppy or something, we'll do the same thing when addressing a puppy. Um, so I thought this, this whole section was pretty interesting and, I don't know, learned something new for sure. So thank you.